Welcome mathematicians to a, another video uh, with Math of Mr. Almeida. This video is going to focus on adding decimals. Uh, one principle that is or idea that's very important to remember in math is that when we add or subtract we can only do so if we have the same units. That means for example if I have five cats and I want to add them to two cats. I can do that because they're both talking about cats. So I have five cats plus two more cats. That's six, seven cats. So I have seven cats. Notice what happens. The unit never changes, but it allows me to be able to put these two uh, quantities together. If I don't have the same units, I cannot add or subtract. For example, if I have two cats plus two dogs, I cannot say that I have four cats or four dogs. However, if I say that cats are animals and dogs are animals, and I say I have two animals plus two animals, now I can add them up because I'm talking about the same unit, which is animals. And when I put two of animals together with two more animals, I get four animals. The only way that you can add or subtract is if you have the same units. One last example. The same idea should follow. Two sevenths plus five sevenths. I'm both talking about sevenths. I have two of these things put together with five of these things. Therefore, I have seven of these things we call sevenths. That is the only way that I can add or subtract. You might recognize this problem like this. Two sevenths plus five sevenths equals seven sevenths. Just proving the point that you can only add or subtract when you have the same units. You cannot add or subtract unless you find common units. All right, now that we have that down, let us get down to business. We are going to learn um, the actual idea behind adding decimals. It follows the same idea that you can only add or subtract the same units. So for example, I'm going to model this number right here, 16 and 25 hundredths. If you can see this, I have one ten, six ones, two tenths, and five hundredths. So I'm going to model that in a picture right now. And these units we said were tens, ones, tenths, with a THS and hundredths with a THS. Now, one thing that you must remember is that, well, I'll model the number first and then we'll talk about it. Alright, so I have 110. I'm gonna I'm gonna use discs or circles to represent uh, each one of these units. So I have six ones, so I'm gonna draw six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are discs, place value discs. Um, two tenths and five hundredths. Two, three, four, five. And I'm putting this together with two ones and seven tenths. So I'm going to show that. Two ones, two ones, and seven tenths. Okay, our task now is to put these together. So when I put them together, I'm going to see what I have in terms of place value. Okay, so I have uh, one, two, three, four, five hundredths. I put them together. There's a, I write a five right here. Now I'm going to count up how many tenths I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine tenths. 
um, where between the ones and the tenths place there is the decimal point that tells us that anything to the right of the decimal point is part of a whole and now we add up our ones Ooh, I have five here six seven eight I have eight ones and I have one ten so the answer is eighteen and ninety five hundredths okay now that is the picture way to understand the idea when setting it up vertically or with the algorithm we make sure that we're adding the same units you might have heard in the past make sure the decimal points line up well, there's a reason for that when you're adding or subtracting because you can only add or subtract the same units so this right here this two is in the ones place this is the ones place right here so this two has to go right below the six and then every other number should fall in place the seven is in the tenths place it's in the tenths place and now I can add up five plus zero is five two plus seven uh, tenths is nine tenths uh, two, six plus two ones is eight ones and one ten plus no tens is one ten and we get the same exact answer as you can see here this is our sum eighteen and ninety five hundredths okay let's do the same let's, let's do a different problem using the same principle or the same idea two and thirty seven hundredths plus eighty one and seventy nine hundredths well let's look at this the highest place value in any of these numbers is let's see this is the ones place and this is the tens place so that means i'm gonna have to have at least tens uh, and the lowest place value in both of these numbers is uh, the hundredths place, the hundredths place. So I'm going to start from the tens place and work my way um, down to the hundredths place. That's the ones, that's the tenths, THS, and that's the hundredths. Okay, now let's model this. Whoa. Let's do that nice and neat. Or neater than it was. Okay, there we go. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna model two ones. One, two ones, three tenths, one, two, three tenths, seven hundredths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll notice that whenever I, I make a model, I always try to make um strings of five that's where therefore it's therefore it's easier for me to count so this is five and two which is seven all right now I'm gonna put that together with eight tens I'm leave a little bit of a space here so you can see that the uh, numbers I'm adding are separated one two three four five six seven eight tens one one seven tenths two three four five six seven and nine hundredths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now I'm put these together. Okay. So when putting these together, when I'm adding, I have to make sure that I only have single digits in my uh, in each place. Uh, once I have ten or more of of a uh, place when I'm adding, putting together, um, it's enough to make one of the one of the units that comes to the left of the given place that I'm at. All right. So let's add these up. So I have 7 here, 8, 9, 10. I'm now going to what I call bundle or group. I'm putting these together now. So I'm putting together a group of 10 hundredths, and those 10 hundredths are now going to make 1 tenth. 10 of any unit can make 1 unit to the size that's to the left of it. Okay? So I have ten hundredths. Let's see if I have ten more hundredths to make another tenth. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do not. So there are six hundredths that are less left unbundled. Therefore, I'm going to write a six right here in the hundredths place. Because these ten hundredths have been bundled together or put together to make one tenth. All right, let's count our tenths now. I have seven down here, eight, nine, ten tenths. So those ten tenths right there are enough to make one one. Ten tenths equal one one, or one whole. 
All right. Now, how many tenths are left unbundled? There's one. So I'm going to put a point of one right here. Between the ones and the tenths place, I always have a decimal point to show the difference between the wholes and the parts of a whole. All right, here we go. Uh, ones place now. One, two, three, four. Enough to make uh, a bundle of ten? No. So therefore, I write four ones. And I add up the tens. No tens plus eight tens is eight tens. And my sum is 84 and 16 hundredths. 84 and 16 hundredths. I will model the algorithm for you so you can see the connection between the model and the, uh, the actual algorithm. I'm going to write the first number, 2 and 37 hundredths. I'm going to put that together with 8. Uh, 8 tens. There are no tens in this number, so therefore the 8 is going to be right here. 8 tens, 1, 1, 7, hun 7 tenths, and 9 hundredths. I'm adding them together and making sure that I'm talking about hundredths in the end. Okay, a 7 plus 9. 7 plus 9 is 16 hundredths. Now I know that 10 hundredths, any, any group of 10 uh, unit can make one of the unit to the left. So I have 10, uh, I have 10 hundredths make one one, sorry, one tenth, and there are six hundredths left. Okay? That's what sixteen hundredths is. One tenth and six hundredths. And that's what you saw right here. I made, a, I made one tenth right here, and that's that one tenth right there. And then I have six loose, or six unbundled hundredths. That's right there. Now I'm going to add up my tenths. Uh, three tenths plus seven tenths is ten tenths. Uh, plus one more tenth is eleven tenths. Now we know that eleven tenths um, has a group of ten in there. So I can bundle a group of ten tenths to make one one, and there's one tenth remaining. And that's what you see right there. I bundled ten tenths to make one one, and that's that one right there, and there's one tenth remaining right there. That's unbundled. Okay, now I add up my ones. 2 plus 1 1 is 3 ones, plus 1 more 1 is 4 ones. There's my 4 ones right there. And 8 tenths plus no ten, sorry, 8 tens plus no tens is 8 tenths. And that's how we get 84 and 16 hundredths. So if you're ever stuck with the, with the algorithm setting it up vertically, it really will help to make a model of what you're doing. And remember that any group of 10 uh, units makes one unit to the uh, left, or makes one unit that's one size bigger. Okay, a multiple of 10 bigger. Hope that you enjoyed this video, and the next video will be about subtracting decimals. Thank you, and take care.